Hello everyone, welcome to my video section in IWS Amazon. Today we will learn a concept called the VPC or the Virtual Private Cloud. So what's the VPC? The VPC or the Virtual Private Cloud enables you to launch the IWS resources into the virtual network that you have defined. The VPC closely resembles a traditional network that you have to operate in your own data center with the benefits of using the infrastructure or the scalability infrastructure of the IWS. Well, let's start to discuss about the VPC benefits. The VPC benefits, the first one is the private virtual network in IWS Cloud using the same concept as on-premises network. The second one allows complete control of the network configuration and ability to isolate and expose resources into or inside the VPC. The third one offers the several layers of the security control and ability to deny and allow the specific internet and internal traffic. Well, let's start to discuss about the VPC futures. The VPC futures, the first one, the VPC lives within regions and you can also create one or more VPC in your account. In the VPC uh, region, as you can see, we have the IWS cloud. In the IWS cloud, we have the region, and this region contains one or more availability zones. The VPC will cover these availability zones, and also in the availability zones, we have the two types of the subnet. We have the private subnet and the, the public subnet. Well, in the case, we have the machine in the public subnet, and this machine needs to access in the internet. So in this case, we need two things. We need the root table, and we need also the IGW or the internet gateway. Another uh, case, if we have uh, the machine in uh, the private subnet and this machine need uh, to upload uh, or download uh, files from the internet. In this case, uh, we need uh, three things. We need uh, the root table and also we need the NAT gateway and this NAT gateway uh, should be in the public subnet and also we need uh, the IGW or uh, the internet uh, gateway. The last feature is called the network access disk and this feature we use it for control and access uh, to my subnets. In the VPC we have uh, five IP address are reserved. The first one is uh, the XXX0 and this is uh, for uh, the network. And the second one we have the XXX1 and this is reserved for the VPC IP and the third one we have the XXX3 and this is uh, reserved for the DNS server and the fourth one we have the XXX4 and uh, this is uh, reserved for future use and the last one is uh, XXX255 this is uh, reserved for uh, broadcast. Thank you so much for your watching and consideration. See you in the next video.